A former executive secretary of National Health Insurance Scheme, Professor Yusuf Usman, says the visit to the bandits in the forest in the six states by himself and an Islamic cleric, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, was because some Nigerian states are under siege by bandits. Usman spoke in Yola during a memorial lecture in honor of Meita Masuli, organized by the Coalition of Northern Groups. The theme of the lecture is reorientation of the North, signifying the core values. Some Northern elders at the event expressed worry over President Muhammadu Buhari's style of leadership. They urged Nigerians not to be deceived again by any politicians who whip up religious sentiment while canvassing for votes. I'm from Katsina, where the president comes from. Before this government came, we did not know what IDPs look like. Now a third of my state, the president's state, is under siege by bandits. Our capital city is filling up with IDPs. We never saw that. The president doesn't call to commiserate with us, doesn't speak about banditry. Listen to him. Each time he talks about insecurity, he talks about Boko Haram. Banditry is more difficult and more lethal to this country than Boko Haram. And I'll tell you why. Boko Haram is located in one place, the Northeast. Bandits are all over this country. I and Shegumi went and visited six states, deep into the forest, and met all the war commanders, exposing ourselves to risk because we knew it was wajib. It is our responsibility and our duty. We are not going to wait for any government that comes and lies on propaganda and says, oh, they have been decimated, they have been this, we are going to take the war to them, or oh, kinetic magnetic magic, all that nonsense we found out was nothing but nonsense. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give me one hundredth of the military budget, and I will invest in people. Instead of investing in the military, invest in people. Governors do not invest in people. It's selfless that we shouldn't pay attention to religion. We shouldn't pay attention to choosing leaders by, by ethnicity because we have done so. We have failed willfully. We have elect, that was what we used in electing Buhari, and we have seen the result today. The government has failed thoroughly and totally. And nobody can come from Abuja or Lagos or even Washington that will secure northern societies if we don't go back to our traditional justice system where the elders are involved in justice, young people are involved in obeyance and military and community policy. We all knew how our societies were a few decades ago. We cannot degenerate. Our leaders should come back to the societies, talk to the people, and go back to our traditional systems of doing things. To champion the struggle of ensuring the quality of education, not only in northern Nigeria, but in Nigeria at large. Three, the dilapidated structures we are observing in our various institutions. The decay of the education system in our institution must be revived. We are all out. We are all out to ensure that we revive the glory of Nigerian students, particularly in northern Nigeria. Our students are being kidnapped rampantly. Our students are being taken away. Our schools are being closed on daily basis. Skyrocketed increase in tuition fees, skyrocketed increase in accommodation fees. Everywhere in Nigerian students are no more longer victimization, political victimization, sexual harassment in our campuses. It's everywhere.